Good evening, saints of God. My name is Pastor Brian K. Dees, pastor of East Jerusalem Missionary Baptist Church, located here in the city of Picayune, Mississippi, in the Gulf Coast area. We thank God for another Wednesday evening. He's allowed us to see and to all of the labors and workers of this ministry, the children of this ministry, of the brothers and sisters in the body of Christ. I just greet you in the name of Jesus. Know that my heart, my heart and uh, my prayers, my heart uh, is filled with joy because of you. I pray continually for uh, your walk uh, of faith in the Lord. I pray for the Lord to keep you. Uh, and no matter what we're going through, that we are going to make it. If we can take it, we can make it. Uh, but it is another Wednesday evening. Not going to be long. Just want to give us an encouraging word for tonight. Uh, to give us uh, a word that would help us to make it a little farther down the road. Amen. If you have your Bibles, we're going to read from uh, the 8th chapter of the book of Nehemiah, verse number 10. Nehemiah chapter number 8, verse number 10. And I read into our hearing these words. Then he said unto them, Go, go your way, eat the fat, and drink the sweet and send portions unto them for whom nothing is prepared. For this day is holy unto our Lord. Neither be ye sorrow, be ye sorry, for the joy of the Lord is your strength. And I use for a text tonight, saints of God, the joy of the Lord. I want us to know the prophet Nehemiah wrote this particular scripture to uh, the saints that were there with him in Jerusalem as they had celebrated uh, the restoration of the building of the walls. Remember, uh, the city had been laid in waste and uh, uh, Nehemiah had gotten permission from the king to go to his homeland and to restore the walls. And against this backdrop, uh, with spears in their hand, with lanterns in their hands, with shields in their hands. Uh, they uh, prepared and restored the walls of Jerusalem. And this was a time for them to celebrate. It's kind of like when we reflect upon uh, the blessings of the Lord and just how good God has been to us. And if he's bring, has brought us through some toils and dangers and some difficult times in our life. We take the time to reflect on just how good God has been to us. And he reminded the saints of God and encouraged them to know to celebrate, eat, drink, be merry, uh, be thankful to the Lord for how he has blessed you. And that is what he is doing this evening when we read in the word of the Lord. Uh, the book of the word of the Lord about what it means to know that the joy of the Lord is our strength. There is joy in serving the Lord. Uh, there is blessings that come with serving the Lord and he will strengthen us. The more God does for us, the stronger we are in him because we have a sense of graciousness and gratefulness and we have a spirit of thanksgiving because God has done so much for us. Remember, even when we have been sick in our bodies, uh, when uh, we have uh, gone through some hardness in our life, uh, when we have dealt with some difficult days in our life, when, he, when we have had to deal with sickness and death and dying and sorrows and grief and harmful times in our life, we remember that through it all, God has made a way for us. And the prophet Nehemiah is encouraging the children of the Lord the way I'm encouraging us tonight to know that the joy of the Lord is your strength. Think about it. When we are weak, we can say I'm strong and that there's nothing too hard for God. God has a way of fortifying us in him. And we have a way of fortifying ourselves in the Lord to know that there is joy in serving the Lord. There is strength in being a child of God. It is like a fortress, like walls that are building up around us in our home, in our dwelling places. Even when you're on your job, riding down the road in your car, 
walking down your neighborhood, go and back and forth as we make a way in this life that we live. The joy of the Lord is our strength. He will put a smile on your face. He will give you a joy down in your heart. He gives us the victory, even in difficult times. The Lord is our strength. Even when we have to cry and we feel hurt and overwhelmed, God is still our strength. And we learn how to have joy, joy that comes with being a child of the Lord. And I want to encourage us tonight that, that, that Jesus is our strength. Jesus is our joy. God is a way maker. He's a holy hill. He's a refuge. He's a very present help in time of trouble. And you take the time to celebrate your life in Jesus. Take the time and remember when we're celebrating to think of others that don't have anything, how good God has been to us. And to always take the time, take time to be mindful to bless some, someone else. And that's what the prophet Nehemiah encouraged the children of the Lord to do. And that's what I'm encouraging us to do tonight. Know that Jesus can fix it. Jesus has will and he is going to make a way. No matter what you're going through, the joy of the Lord is your strength. And this is the thought for tonight. This is the mindset that I encourage us to have. There's joy in serving the Lord. There is joy in being a child of God. And not only is there joy, there is strength. God has a way of strengthening us. He has a way of completing us. He has a way of laying his hand on us and blessing us to make us a sanctified witness. Remember the text tonight, the joy of the Lord is your strength. Until the next time, saints of God, I pray for you and ask you to pray for me. In Jesus' name, amen.